First of all, I'm not about to break my hair for no views. It ain't that serious. <laughs> water rinse I was like oh okay I just kept on scrolling I kept scrolling but then I kept seeing it and I was like let me actually check out one of these videos just to see what they talking about and so then the girl was talking about stuff it was growing her hair and made her hair feel soft and stuff I was like you know what let me see what she owns she may be on to something because I got rice and I got water hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl deja joy bringing you another video today i will be talking to you guys about why i will not be using rice water the rice water rinse in my hair um yeah <laughs> if you guys want to know why i will not be using that product stick around because this could really help you you guys may be asking yourself what is the rice water rinse well, it is literally rice and literally water put together to sit in a nice dark place to ferment over 24 hours to 48 hours, I believe, or 24 to 72 hours. And then you put it in your hair. It's supposed to like make your hair stronger. A lot of people claim that it helps to grow your hair it makes your hair softer and all of those amazing things and i will not take away from that at all but that that rice water rinse is really made for a specific hair type and i will get into that so the reasons why i will not be using rice water in my hair is because i have low porosity hair and over my past few videos i have mentioned this because it's a very 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 important things to know about your hair a lot of people do not even know what hair type they are they don't know if they have high porosity or if they have low porosity depending on which one you treat your hair very differently if you have low porosity hair you have to do things that will give your hair moisture and that will retain moisture if you have high porosity hair, you kind of want to stray away from moisture and get more protein. So I think you guys can see where I'm going with this when I say I will not be using this rice water rinse because I have low porosity hair. With my hair, it is so hard. It is extremely hard to freaking get moisture into my hair strands. Like I have to use heat to open up my hair cuticles and then I have to apply a lot of moisturizing products. I now use hot water to moisturize my hair and I actually am putting out a video. My next video will actually be about that so stick around because that video will be premiering tomorrow. But I actually use hot water now and then I use like a lot of products and when I say a lot of products I don't mean like a lot of different products. I mean a lot of the product that I'm using <laughs> a lot of the product that I'm using I have to use that in my hair I completely ditched well I didn't completely ditch oil as a sealant but I'm kind of ditching oil as a sealant because it is so hard to get moisture into my hair after my hair has been sealed with an oil with an oil so I actually switched the oil that I've been using, but I will actually come out with a whole video about that because that's another thing. Like these holy grail situations, these holy grail regimens and all of this different stuff that everyone is saying works for them. It may work for you. It definitely may work for you, but I will say to test your hair porosity and I will be coming out with a video with that. I just have so many videos coming out, y'all. Like, I've been filming, filming, filming. But I have a video coming out about that on how you could test your hair porosity um, to see if you are high or low. Because before you jump in doing all of this stuff, 
Let me tell y'all, you really want to test the porosity of your hair first. First, you want to find out your hair type because a lot of people still don't even know what their hair type is. Are you 3A, 4A, 4B, 2A, 1B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P? Like, which one are you? First, find that out and then find out if you are high porosity or if you have low porosity hair because that will save your hair, that will save money, that will save time, that will save energy before you run out and do all of this stuff just to jump on the bandwagon and to feel like, you know, to feel like you don't have FOMO. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Being in the natural hair community, it can really feel like FOMO sometimes and you try to jump on these trends and then your hair is laying next to you on your pillow. So we don't want that. So my hair is naturally protein intense. My hair is very strong, like very, very strong. And that's why I was able to leave deep conditioner in my hair for two days, yes. Coming out with a video about that on how my hair managed deep conditioner for two days. But um, my hair is very strong. It, it can withstand a lot of stuff. However, if I were to add extra protein in my hair, because my hair is so like high in protein, if I was to add extra protein, then it will become brittle and then it would eventually break off. So with the rice water rinse, they claim that it helps to strengthen your hair, which is good, um, but my hair is already strong. So any type of extra protein, I've tried the egg protein the mayo protein treatments i've tried different protein treatments and y'all when i tell you each time my hair was like girl what the hell are you doing to me <laughs> and i really had to listen because my hair would feel like straw like dry straw like hey 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 so I can't just go and put in extra protein. For my low porosity hair, I actually need more moisture instead of protein. Now, if you have high porosity hair, you need more protein. And you may have a hair type where you need a balance of protein and moisture. So you would just like combine the two and then find a regimen around that that works for you the reason why i am even talking about protein and moisture is because the rice water rinse is an actual protein treatment once it becomes fermented it's now a protein treatment i'm not sure if it's like that with just rice and water where it does nothing when you really just put the rice and the water together into a bottle and then spray it i don't see how that would do anything really um, but if you want, you could try it. Once it becomes fermented, it becomes a protein treatment. And that's why I am bringing up the fact that that just would not work for me. And lastly, the reason why I will not be trying this rinse is because if anything negative was to happen to my hair, I'm gonna literally just cry. Like, my hair gonna be laying next to me. I'm gonna be laying right next to my hair crying about it. I work too hard and I don't want to be doing all of these experiments trying to keep up with the Joneses and then my hair fall out. I know what my hair likes and dislikes. I know what my hair can take and what it cannot take. Um, so before I even jump into doing all these different experiments and what the natural hair community is trending about now, before I do all of that stuff, I freaking test my hair. And I will encourage you to test your hair because you may actually have low porosity hair. And if you try this treatment, it most likely will dry your hair out, make your hair feel brittle, and possibly break your hair off eventually if you keep on going on with the rinse. Even after the first use, you usually could tell if your hair likes something or not. So if you try it, and then you realize that your hair is doing fine and you're able to work with that, whatever it gives you. If you are willing to put your hair through that, all in the name of trying something out, then all power to you, but I'm not about that life, so I'm just not doing that. If I do ever decide to try the rice water rinse, I will try to balance it out in some way. That would probably mean putting conditioner in the fermented rice water, I don't know 
deep conditioning my hair after, before. Like, I don't know. I don't really want to test that. I'm scared. I don't know if it's worth it to really put myself through that. Um, and then end up disappointed at the end. Because me just saying, oh, I'm going to just do rice water. No, you're not. That's a high concentration. And we're not doing that. I know that the rice water rinse is very popular in the hair community. In the natural hair community especially. But just test your hair out. When I first learned about the rice water rinse, I was like, oh, okay. I just kept on scrolling. I kept scrolling. But then I kept seeing it. And I was like, let me actually check out one of these videos just to see what they're talking about. And so then the girl was talking about stuff. It was growing her hair and made her hair feel soft and stuff. I was like, you know what? Let me see what she owns. She may be onto something because I got rice and I got water. So let me see something real quick but after just like learning more about it and seeing different videos coming out about why it's not working for them i had to pull back like wait a minute <laughs> i have low porosity hair and that may be a disaster for me so take this information and do with it what you will i can only lead you to the water i cannot make you drink and i would definitely Hope that it goes well for you. I'm willing to make a rice water rinse video on how to make the fermented rice water, but I'm not willing to apply it to my hair. But if you guys would like to see how I make it and how I would possibly make it to balance that moisture and protein out, then go ahead and leave your comments down in the comment section and give this video a like. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in the next video. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to stay informed and to enjoy the rest of this Black History series, okay? Okay. Because this is for you. For the melanated kings and queens out there, this is for you. So join in on this family. Jump on this train. And here is the cousin of the day. Thank you guys for watching my video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.